Hello humans, it is I, Chip of the, and today we're going to do some real talk that has some poetry. So recently I lost my grandmother. Um, she had liver cancer and then a couple weeks ago the doctors checked on her and she wasn't doing well, she wasn't breathing well. And long story short, she had cancer on her heart, her esophagus, and her lungs, and one of her lungs collapsed. Um, I was very close to my grandmother. She was a wonderful, wonderful person. And, you know, she had her quirks, and nobody's perfect, but she was a really good grandmother, and I went on trips, and she made sure that I had what I needed, and, you know, my parents could go to her, and, you know, her and my grandfather, and be like, hey, like, uh, we're having many problems, but she needs this, you know. They helped me get my first hearing aids, which was really important. And it was really hard to lose her, especially in the span of pretty much a week. She was doing better, she was doing better, you know. And then that week before she died hit, and it just plummeted. And it was really fast, and I got to see her one last time before she died, so I was really grateful for that. I got to say some kind of goodbye, but I think what hit me the hardest was um, she's not going to be at my wedding, and I really, really wanted her to be at my wedding. I was gonna have a picture of her and me, just her and me, and like hugging it out, and just have a picture of me in my wedding dress, and her in her whatever dress she would decide to wear, and now that's not going to happen. Um, one of the very few things that I asked for of my grandmother's was her crown. Uh, I'll probably put a picture up somewhere in this video of her and I wearing our crowns. I had a smaller crown because I was the princess and she had the big crown because she was the queen. And it was just our thing. And this necklace was hers. It's a Tinkerbell necklace and um, she wore it pretty much every time we went to Disneyland together. Or at least every time she went to Disneyland. I really felt it on my heart to um, share my poetry. I wrote a poem about my grandmother and some of you who were at our celebration of life over at um, our house, at my grandfather's house. Um, I read this poem and it was really nerve-wracking for me. I've never really read my poetry out loud to anyone before, so it was my first time doing that and then um, well, in front of a crowd, and then I felt it on my heart that I wanted to sharing poetry on my YouTube channel because I feel like I write pretty good poetry. I mean, it's not like great or anything, but I feel like it's at least decent. I wrote this on the day of her funeral. Grandma, by me, Jamie. To my grandmother, I lost you a few days ago, the closest relative that I've ever known. Today is my final goodbye, but I can't seem to stop crying. I'll stand there as they lower your casket, unable to form words. What a beautiful world it was with you by my side. Trips to Disney on all the rides, the shopping we did, the memories were shared. How lucky I was with you in my life. So thank you, Grandma, for all you have done, for the caring and sharing when it seemed there was none. Yes, Grandmother, what a beautiful title. A woman who was called this by many, she found it truly an honor. But as I stood by your side, watching the light fade from your eyes, but Grandma, you were supposed to see me be a bride. Today I stood at your grave while tears filled my eyes, saying goodbye for the very last time. Roses lay on your casket, white and one red. All the people that came, what a life you led. I celebrate your life, what a great one you led. As your children and grandchildren gather, I find so many faces of those you love. I rejoice in knowing that at last you are healed. You are happy and free, running and dancing with your one true king. Yes, you will be missed and you already are by all of us here and many beyond. But alas, the memories we shared when you were the queen and I was the princess. Time to the wig shops when you tried on almost all the colors. I find myself in tears remembering the last words we spoke, my heart aching for just one more day. I love you, a statement from my heart to yours. I'll see you later, a promise I made. Goodbye, you spoke, barely a whisper. And now I say to you, I love you, Grandma. Say hi to Jesus for me, and goodbye.
That was the poetry I wrote about my grandmother. Yeah, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, comment if you have comments, concerns, questions. I'm more than happy to answer. Everything's kind of calmed down though. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe down below. And um, bye humans. Thank you.